Hey, sunshine, it's your stay at home mom, Sophie Chanel, and I am back with another video. Yes, you guys. So thank you all so much for all of the love and support on my last video. We were talking about where the real man at? Where are the real men? And I got so much love on that video. It started out a little bit flaky, but you all came through and I really enjoyed making that video. We were recapping a specific scene in Love and Marriage Huntsville and it really kind of got me like, okay, if there's an audience out there that want to hear my perspective, like, let's just keep it going. So we were just going to recap this last episode. Now in this episode, first of all, let's, let's go ahead and rate the episode. I'm going to give the episode, let me give it an 8.9. I'm taking away 0.1 because where is Mel? Like, girl, anybody see Mel? Where are you, girl? Like, Mel is my girl, but we have not seen her in a little minute. Um, but I took off point one for that, or maybe a one. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we are going to dive right on in and we're going to start with Trish and Ken simply because we last left off with my previous video talking about um, her ex or her husband. Um, and so in this particular episode, Martel, leave it. let me just preface this by saying y'all. I can't even remember if this was the last episode or a combination of the last two episodes. But Martel visits Stormy's factory or warehouse and he ends up telling her that Trish has been to his house. So Stormy, much like the rest of us, are like, huh? Martel be lying. But it seems like he went lying. So I don't really know. Martel, when he says things, you don't know whether to take it as a grain of salt or if there's some truth in him. Because I mean, is there truth in him? I don't know, but he drops this little, this little nugget. And so Stormy picks it up. She goes to the gym where she works out with Trish and Destiny. And she's talking and she's like, well, you know, Martel says he, you've been to his house. And Trish is looking like, huh? Why would he say that? Like, who's that at? Who said that? 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 Why he say that? That's what she's looking like. So I'm looking like Destiny, like, now Destiny, did you didn't notice? Because her and Martell are pretty close. So I don't really know, but she denies it. She says that, you know, she's supposed to go help him work out. And I'm just kind of sitting there like, huh? Like this is, is raising a little bit of red flags. So I don't know. So. They talk, they have their chance to catch up. Another scene, you have Martel meeting with, um, Destiny meeting Martel at his home. And Martel, he knows what he's doing. He's so methodical and so contrived in his pursuits and the way he shows up on this, on the television screen. And it's like, on the one hand, I'm like, this man is not so bright. And then on the other hand, I'm like, it's brother right here. He got, he got a little bit of intelligence because he know how to keep the people talking. Sure, right? So, He's walking around in his Hugh Hefner, you know, robe, which um, name drop Hefner is my maiden name. So I feel like somebody somewhere down the line must have done a little something. So run me my coins. But he is like, you know, strolling around in the kitchen, talking to Destiny. And he makes a little comment about Destiny's son, Law, and how he looked like him. And I'm just like, now Martel, now you know. I ain't even seen Law, but I can tell you that baby don't look like Martel. And it's like, he does little stuff like that to kind of raise that suspicion in the audience to be like, mm, so well, did he mess with Destiny too? Like, why you wanna lie on your figure? You know, like, why, like, I don't get it. You you want more notches on your belt? Like, Destiny probably over there like, like how I get in it? Leave me out of that. I, I don't, don't, don't do that, you know? And I'm just like, I can never wrap my head around somebody. And maybe this is just me because I don't like people all in my business, like bedroom business like that. So don't insinuate that there would be a reason that my child would look like you. Don't try to raise those suspicions because if you're going to go there, we can really go there. And I know Destiny got some stuff on my tail. So don't make me out here look like I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Mm -mm. But anyway, they're talking and he did. He then tells her that he did meet up with her ex and Sonny. And so even that storyline in and of itself, like 
Sunny, I've been seeing some recent interviews where it's like she's showing a different side of herself, but honey, Sunny, you should have come on the screen with that energy. Like you came on like, ooh, ooh, and she mad, and she mad, and da -da 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 -da. like, chill you know we don't we didn't need too much of that too soon you needed to you know make yourself likable you know what i'm saying like allow the audience to like you and then learn to try to find something to not like about you it's much harder coming onto the scene having this target on your back and then like huffing and puffing up about it you know like standing 10 toes down in it but i can respect a person that stands 10 down 10 toes down and they stuck um I ain't got to respect what you did, but I can respect that you're like, this is just what it is. But anyway, Martel tells Destiny, whom he has been friends with for several years. I think they were friends in like middle school, high school, whatever, that he met with her ex and his current wife. And he's looking to, you know, sell them a house. And rightfully so, Destiny should feel a way because it's like, why are these people even here? They don't live in Huntsville. Why are they trying to be where I am? They don't have ties here. You know, it's like, but then on the other hand, I'm like, listen, I got to get this coin. If they going to be here and buying a house, why not let me get that commission? So on that part, I mean, I can see Martel's perspective. It's like, listen, if they going to throw some coins out, I may, maybe I need a one that's going to get it. Put it right there. So I, I you know, um, it's just a tough situation all around because if this is like, where you are and it's like these people just keep showing up it, it does kind of give why are you so obsessed with me like go home <laughs> moving on we do finally get to the scene with trish and ken which is so funny because these newbies are really giving huntsville something to talk about <laughs> and it's like every episode we're seeing more and more of them and i'm not mad about it i love the freshness that they bring to the show even though some of the stuff i'm like trish like come on sis like get it through your head um and she's just telling him how her time out with destiny and stormy was which i have to say i really do love stormy i'm from mississippi and stormy kind of gives me that sort of like southern swag that a lot of i feel like mississippians and maybe alabamans have um she reminds me of like my cousin you know what i'm saying and not a specific one yes a specific one for me but just kind of like that cousin that's real that's down to earth that you know keeps it 100 and so i really love stormy um and i like how she just kind of brings everything to the table i also like how she tries to get the people together so anyway storm i'm sorry trish is meeting with ken letting him know about how her meetup with stormy and destiny was and ken is just you know talking to her and so trish finally is like yeah martel told them that i've been to his house and so this is happening real time you know this does not seem contrived it does not seem like something that was planned or plotted for a storyline like she's having this conversation with him real time and he's like well why would he say that you've been to his house and she was like i don't know um i i you know and it's just like girl did you go to his house or not and so she's like i may have i can't remember if we made it i was supposed to be going to help him to train him and work out but i don't know if we made it to the gym like now i know in older age because i'm not gonna 40 myself that we do have a little bit of fog brain foggy memories but girl you know if you went to this man's house versus the gym like there's a big difference like a gym is a public establishment a commercial building a home is a residential building somewhere in which you and that person could have been alone and it's not a business like so i'm like you you playing on my top at this point you you play with my intelligence and i don't like it like you know if you was there so just be real about it and so she's just like going through this thing and i honestly feel like trish has so much and it's just like held up in her face and she's just like and i'll be so happy for her when she just kind of releases that because i feel like she's so tense the tension is there and it's just like she's so guarded and it comes through just even in her facial expressions. And I'm like, when she finally lets loose, I really want to see what that Trish looks like. But besides that, um, and you know, sometimes I'm over here, I'm an overthinker. I'm an analytical thinker. So sometimes my, my basis may seem way off, but just know there's gears grinding up here and it makes sense in my head. It just may not convey all the time. But anyway, so she finally confesses like, yeah, I did, but nothing happened. So here we are yet again, when we first see Martel and Trish on the scene, 
Martel is like, hi, nice to meet you to her. And she's just like, hi, nice to meet you. But then she goes back and she tells her husband, she's like, yeah, like he didn't know me and she went along with it. So I'm just like, so y'all have these instances where y'all kind of like are being fake. And it's like, what more is there to hide? Like, it's always something else coming out. And then one thing that I don't like is having to find out something be after everybody else or with everyone else, especially when it comes to like a spouse, a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you want, a husband, wife. You let me know before everybody else know, because one thing I don't like is people playing in my face. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand Ken's frustration when he expresses this to her. Like, you need to let me know because here I am chumming it up with these dudes and not knowing that you've been over to his house. You know, is there what else is there that I should know before I'm just all up in these people's faces and I, you know, looking like boo boo the fool ultimately and so it's just like don't have these people playing in my face like ain't nobody got time for that like don't make me out here don't have me out here looking crazy and so i can respect ken's perspective on that we will see what happens because i know you know love and marriage huntsville tends to go on these breaks but i've heard that it's because of the olympics that are coming up by the way if you are into the olympics let me know what your events are that you enjoy watching um, and yeah, we'll come back. Let me know if you are interested in any future recaps of Love and Marriage Huntsville from me and what other shows you'd like for me to recap and give my little perspective on. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.